So what's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're in Modern Warfare checking out Spec Ops Survival Mode. Is this the successor to Call of Duty Zombies, Treyarch Zombies, and what's going on with that exclusivity for one year here on PlayStation? Xbox and PC will be getting it, but it will be irrelevant by the time that they actually do get it. The next Treyarch game will be out. Now there are three maps here in this mode, so survival mode does consist of the three maps. Anaya, which is what you'll be seeing me play on, Piccadilly, and Raid. And the map Raid uh, we played during the beta as well. So these three maps have their own survival aspect and mode. But there's two main issues with survival mode. The first being the munitions abilities don't always work or even show up for players in game. This was a problem that I had. My munitions just decided not to show. I didn't even have this ability in my game. So, what's up with that? The next thing is buying ammo. The way in which you actually buy ammo is very bizarre. So here's what you need to know. Buying ammo at the gun station is active weapon specific. So you can't buy ammo for the second weapon without exiting the gun station, switching weapons, and then buying the ammo for that weapon. This is a big hassle because you're fighting a timer and you're trying to get ammo for your weapon in time. If you don't switch your weapon, you end up just buying ammo for the same weapon over and over again and wasting all your money. It sucks how it's set up because there should be safety features that stop you from doing certain things. And there's one other known issue, and this is the biggest issue with replayability, is this is going to draw people off from this mode more than anything. Enemies are not locked to players if they're too far away. So there's no attraction code like zombies, so the final enemy could be camping all the way across the map, and you're forced to go and find them on your mini-map. When you pull up your mini-map, you can see where they're blinking. But it always leads to you being too far away from the gun station to buy ammo. So you'll just start the next wave with no ammo you'll just have to pick up weapons and keep going that way but yeah that is big issue that is a huge issue because a lot of people won't be able to go back and buy ammo and you got to go track this guy down and it can happen halfway during a wave too so they won't be attracted to you they'll just be on the other side of the map you got to go to them and find them it seems like there's no objective besides clearing the wave you know what i'm saying and they stand there until they're attracted to you and you're close enough. So for the most part, let me explain how these waves go all the way to wave 20 and I'll give you the XP factor too so you'll know how much XP you earn up to wave 20. I'm on the map Ania. The other two maps might be different when it comes to wave and bosses and how it works, but I doubt it. From wave 1 through 9, you're going to buy an LMG and an assault rifle. The assault rifle's around 2 grand. Save up that much money and buy an assault rifle, then work your way into buying an LMG. By the time you reach wave 10, that's when your first jug is going to spawn in. So the juggernaut will spawn in every 5 waves in sets of 2 after wave 10. So that's every 5 waves. So wave 15, wave 20, we'll have 2 jugs each time. That's not a big deal, but wave 12 you get suicide bombers and they're gonna keep spawning in almost it seems like every wave and they're a huge problem and they cause a lot of damage and it's not very enjoyable some key factors to take away from this is that LMGs take down choppers really fast and juggernauts really fast you can't buy ammo during each wave you have to pick up weapons when you run out of ammo and by the time you complete wave 19 start wave 20 you earn about 15,000 experience. So 15,000 XP is what you can get in wave 20 in survival mode. And that's what I want to leave you guys with is so you know how when you get to wave 20, what kind of XP you're going to be earning and if it's worth your time. It does take quite a bit of time to get here. So let me know what you guys are thinking of survival mode down in the comment section. If you're on Xbox and PC, truly you're not missing much here. So you got the rest of the full game though, so that's what everyone's going to be playing. Don't worry about survival mode. This is not the successor to zombies. I'll see you in the next one. Violent out.